What is this iron and wood platform being used as a coffee table? The wood between the metal straps is dried out and shrunken, versus being worn down. The holes in the surface at the end with the rings are more worn than the others along the edge. I'm not sure if the feet are original or if they are meant to be feet. Was it really meant as a coffee table? Or was it repurposed to a coffee table? It's a 19th century elephant howdah, potentially earlier based on intricate iron and woodwork. It's a carriage that is positioned on the back of an elephant, or occasionally some other animal such as a camel. Used most often in the past to carry wealthy people during progresses or processions, hunting or in warfare. It was also a symbol of wealth for the owner and as a result might be elaborately decorated, even with expensive gemstones. What is this heavy wooden box with metal pieces on one end and metal circles on two other ends? It weighs probably about a pound or slightly more. No way to open the box that I can find. I'm not even sure what to search for this one. What is this thing? It's a battery ignition coil for a 1910s to 1920s Ford Model T. They are responsible for amplifying the electrical power for the spark plug. They've got two separate ignition systems. Once the engine's running, it's got magneto ignition like a lawnmower. There are four of them, one for each cylinder, and they just sorta of buzz like a doorbell. When their respective piston comes up, generating sparks across the plug gap to ignite the fuel mixture. What is this small leather-covered square metal box? It's about one and a half inches on each side. It was found in a display case of a Masonic lodge that dates back to 1804. The inside appears to be covered in ashes, like it was used as a very small ashes tray or incense burner. The box is stamped with the name Depose. What is it? It's a portable travel inkwell from the 19th century. Lots of different forms of them were made in the turn of 1900, both in England and on the continent. If the reverse of a piece is stamped to pose, it was made in France, and the rights or patent is granted for an exclusive design. The literal translation is handmade. What is this small mouse-like aluminum object? approximately 2.5 by 1 by 1 inch. It appears to be a mouse, but I'm unsure of the use. I found it in the dirt in East Texas. I included a 4-inch pocket knife for scale. The arms and belly are concave. I've been unable to find it on Google, likely because I struggle to define it. What the heck is this thing? It's an egg holder made by Walter Boss in Germany. This sweet little kitty was made in the 1960s, originally designed to be used as an egg cup, ashtray, or candle holder with ball-shaped candles. What is this golden-colored opaque glass object in a UK National Museum? It's been here for a long time, and nobody knows what exactly it is. It's about 25 centimeters tall and weighs about 40 grams. It came with an old handwritten note that said 17th century French. It can't be a seed bottle because there is no opening on the bottom. There was a set of numbers probably an old museum inventory number. There's also another number on the note that said 1870. I think it's the year of acquisition. Any idea what is this thing? It's a 17th century glass ornament made in Venice, Italy, circa 1500 to 1700. It's an orange glass with a silvered interior. I have the exact same item that I bought from the Bernal collection in the 1990s. I think mine was acquired in 1855. What is this rusty machine of some kind found on a farm full of random junk? I couldn't find any identifying markings, and likely made of steel or iron, it's probably been sitting in the elements for decades. The guy liked to collect antique things made in the US. His collection mostly included stuff from the early 1800s through the mid-20th century. It looks to me like some kind of machining equipment. I tried Google Lens, but it did not help. What is this thing? That's a wheel hub boring machine, from the late 19th century. It's for boring the hubs of wagon wheels. Here is a modern version. I got this thing at a thrift store. It appears to be a whole bunch of copper sticks shoved together. It's very heavy and I've never seen anything like this before. I don't understand it well enough to be able to describe it any better than that. What is this thing? 
It's an Indian Badaker textile stamp, it's used to print wax onto silk as a dye resist, then the wax will be steamed and ironed out of the fabric. Indian Badak can be traced as far back as 2000 years. Indians were conversant with the resist method of printing designs on cotton fabrics, long before any other nation had even tried it. This little girl was photographed in the 1860s with her dog. What is she holding in her lap? I was thinking maybe an antique melodica. Any ideas? It's a mid-19th century diatonic flutina, made in France circa the 1850s, possibly the earliest version known as the clavier melodique or melodious keyboard, and was probably one of the first accordions capable of playing a melody. It is made of wood and paper with brass fittings and mother-of-pearl buttons. This thing is a gift to the Sultan of Brunei. We found this in the Royal Regalia Museum in Brunei. It's a museum filled with lavish gifts given to the Sultan over the years. On the bottom floor in a cabinet. We found this and had no idea what it could have been. One of my friends guessed a shoe polishing stand, with the serrated iron bit to scrape off the dirt. What is this thing? It's a coconut grater. It is used for grating the white inner part of a coconut to get coconut milk. After grating you will get small pieces of the grated coconut, and then squeeze them with your hands to get the coconut milk, which can be used for cooking. These were commonly used in Asian countries in the rural areas in the 60s to 70s, before electricity came. The description on the item is Malay, so this probably be a gift from the Malaysian Prime Minister. Any idea what these lightweight hollow metal things could be? It comes in four different sizes that gradually get larger in girth and length. The largest one is about 5 inches long, and the smallest is 3 and a half inches. There's no writing or maker's mark I could find. I found it on a nightstand and a state sale. What are these for? They are late 19th century medical dilators, a medical device similar to a speculum, designed to open and relax the internal and external anal sphincter and rectum, in order to facilitate medical inspection or relieve constipation. One early version of a rectal dilator was Dr. Young's Ideal Rectal Dilators, invented in 1892. What is this thing I found at an antique festival near Atlanta? About 17 inches by 5.5 inches. It has a wooden crank handle, and the body is all cast iron. It looks like an old clothes press for drying clothes back in the day. Any ideas? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.